This video demonstrates VFD wiring and setup for variable speed KMG grinders from Beaumont Metalworks. This is only a basic guide for the variable frequency drive, also known as a controller or a VFD. The VFD must be disconnected from all power before any wiring or setup. Beaumont recommends that all wiring setup and installation be performed by a qualified professional. Ask about Beaumont's pre-wiring options. Step 1. Unbox the variable frequency drive. This video shows the KBAC27D variable frequency drive. In addition to the cast aluminum VFD controller itself, the cardboard box also contains a plastic screwdriver, a hard rubber plug, a quick start instruction manual, and a QR code sticker. Scan the QR code with the smartphone's camera application to access the full KBAC installation and operation manual. This online PDF document contains 23 pages of instructions and information regarding features, specifications, diagnostics, and diagrams for the KB. Step 2. Open the VFD enclosure. Use a flathead screwdriver and completely loosen all four screws. Step 3. Install the center rubber plug. This hard rubber plug from the box fits the large center hole at the base of the VFD case. Press the plug evenly and firmly to begin seating it securely in the hole. Leverage from pliers and other blunt tools may be helpful. Be sure the flange or ridge of the plug is undamaged and completely extended into the interior of the VFD for a tight protective seal against grit, dust, and water. Step 4. Remove the small rubber plug. The hard rubber plugs left and right of center must be removed to enable cable installation. Step 5. Prepare the power cable. This video shows installation of a 14-gauge, 3-conductor copper wire power cable for 115 volts, which is common household power in the United States. Remove the outer black insulation to expose the internal black, white, and green conductors. Strip each conductor to expose the fine strand copper wire. The variable speed accessory kit from Beaumont contains fork terminals, cable glands, wire nuts, and fasteners for setup. Step 6. Properly connect a fork terminal to the green ground conductor. Crimp the fork terminal securely on the fine copper at the exposed end of the conductor. Step 7. Attach the power cable to the VFD. Insert the exposed conductors and ground fork terminal through the cable gland and secure in the right opening of the VFD using the hex nut. Step 8. Connect the ground wire to the green ground screw. Insert the ground fork terminal completely under the green screw and tighten fully. Step 9. Connect the AC power conductors to the VFD. The power cable remains unplugged and disconnected from AC power. Connect white to L1.
and black to L2. Step 10. Tighten the cable gland on the AC power cable. Confirm all power conductors are secure. Step 11. Open the box containing the on-off switch. See the on-off switch, the connection diagram. The rubber boot. The installation wrench and cable zip ties. Step 12. Install the on-off switch in the VFD's front panel. Remove the rubber plug from the VFD panel and insert the on-off switch so its slotted bushing aligns with the hole's tooth or key. Mount the threaded rubber boot. And tighten to secure. Step 13. Remove the factory wires to enable the on-off switch connection. Remove the wire which connects L1A and L1B by using pliers to gently pull the female terminals vertically upward. Remove the wire connecting L2A and L2B in the same way. Step 14. Refer to the connection diagram and connect the switch. Connect the switch's top blue wire to L1A in the VFD. Connect the switch's bottom blue wire to L1B. Connect the top white wire to L2A. and the bottom white wire to L2B. Use a zip tie to gather the on-off switch wires and keep them together. Step 15. Install the cable gland for the motor cable. Step 16. Set jumper J1 to match the actual AC input voltage of the power cable. The KBAC24D and the KBAC27D can accept either 115 volt or 230 volt AC line input voltage. In this video, the KBAC27D controller jumper J1 is changed from its 230 volt factory setting to 115 volts.
Step 17. Set jumper J2 to match the rated horsepower of the motor being used. For this KBAC 2070 setup video, the motor is 2 horsepower and J2 is set to A, the top position, to match the motor's 2 horsepower. Jumper J2 positions B and C correspond to 1 and 1 half and 1 horsepower respectively. Step 18. Set jumper J6 to A, D, J for adjustable boot voltage. This enables the boost trim pot to control extra voltage applied to the motor during low speed operation. Low speed is approximately 0 to 20% of the top speed. Step 19. Locate and set the eight trim pot selectors. From left to right, the eight trim pots are max, min, excel, decel, boost, cl, jog, and comp. Beaumont typically sets the trim pots as follows. Max is set to 5 o'clock, roughly 110% of frequency. Min is set to 9 o'clock, roughly 4% of frequency. Excel is set to 9 o'clock, roughly 1.5 seconds to accelerate. Decel is set to 9 o'clock, roughly 1.5 seconds to decelerate. Boost is set to 1 o'clock, roughly 20 volts of boost at low RPMs. CL is set to 5 o'clock, roughly 200% of the current limit briefly before shutdown. Jog is not applicable. Comp is set to 7 o'clock, roughly 0 volts per hertz slip compensation. Refer to the online KBAC installation and operation manual for more information on adjusting the trim pots and other settings for your operating needs. Step 20. Connect the motor wires to the ground screw and the UVW terminals. Insert the exposed conductors and ground fork terminal through the cable gland. Step 21. Connect the motor wire to the green ground screw. Insert the ground fork terminal completely under the green screw and tighten fully. Step 22. Connect the red, white, and black motor wires to the VFD. Connect red to the U terminal. White to the V terminal. And black to the W terminal. Step 23. Tighten the cable gland on the motor cable. Confirm all motor connections are secure. Step 24. Close the VFD case and tighten all four corner screws for a watertight seal. This VFD is ready to run a Beaumont KMG or KMG TX 2x72 grinder with a 2 horsepower motor. Explore more videos on our YouTube channel.
Beaumont Metalworks, and click subscribe. Shop on our website, BeaumontMetalworks.com, for grinders such as our legendary KMG Classic, the KMG TX, and a full line of grinder accessories. Beaumont Metalworks products are made in America, in stock, and available for shipment. Remember to take advantage of our free shipping offer. Beaumont Metalworks.